Hi guys, welcome back. Today for me is Monday, so new week, the sun's out and I, uh, believe it or not, I did this video about two or three days ago but unfortunately I did it the wrong way round so it looked really odd in the, um, what do you call it, when I came to edit it so here I am doing it again and this video is primarily about the pros and cons of the two programs I'm currently working with. One obviously is the Amazon Flex program and the other one which I'm doing little but not too much is the B livery uh, driving. So when you're uh, doing people shopping and you uh, get paid per the job. So it's more sporadic than the Amazon. Um, today I've done an Amazon block. I actually done both today. So I went for my run and got back, had a notification for a uh, shopping trip, so I did that. Uh, that was about an eight mile drive, uh, so I got £21 for that because I did it in, uh, earlier than expected, so I got a £1 bonus. And then I flicked for an Amazon and I did one of those, a three and a half hour Amazon block um, for £45. So today I've earned £65, which isn't bad. Is it bad? Anyway, yeah, so that's, I'm going to start with Amazon Flex because I'm going to do it alphabetically. And um, there isn't many cons, to be honest with you, but I'm just going to go through quickly the major pros of doing the program. Uh, the first one I'm going to say is that it's very flexible. So even if you sign up to a block and then you realise you can't do it, you have until um, 44 minutes and 59 seconds precisely, although they tell you 45 minutes. Uh, before the block starts you can cancel it and you don't have any no questions asked so to speak you don't get written up about it that's how it is so that's a really good point uh alternative also um you you can once you've done it a few times you usually finish earlier than expected so for example when i'm doing three hour and a half blocks usually i'm finishing in an hour and a half to two hours today was even better i finished in an hour and 15 minutes so when you really think about it you're getting paid you know like 40 pounds to an hour to do very um this sort of work you know very easy work it is quite easy you know anyone can deliver the parcels and then once you've done it a few times you get your memory to it and it's even easier because you find your own way to sort your car to make it easier for you you can think about all the different um ways to pack your car so it's easier so that's that comes with repetition obviously um another pro is that I did this video before and it flowed so well and I was so annoyed at myself that I did it the wrong way. So another pro is that you're paid, you're paid weekly. So uh, every Friday you're paid for the work you've done. So you don't have to wait too long to be paid. That's a really good point that I've near almost forgot. And um, also another good thing is that your the driver support on Amazon is second to none. So I've only used it maybe a handful of times, but if any, you have any queries while you're driving, or uh, for example, once I phoned them because I delivered a parcel and then the app crashed. And then once the app reloaded, I, I went on and it said I hadn't delivered it. So um, I phoned them up and told them this, and then they went through the steps of me to, um, do it manually basically so manually um allow them allow yourself to move on to the next drop so that's really handy uh they're always very friendly as well they get it they're not rushed in any way it's all very although you're working for them there's a really good customer service attitude that amazon have um which i've noticed even when i'm at the depot per collecting parcels and things everyone's very friendly and if you ask them they're very willing to help you and this is also with when you're calling up for um, support, any support you need. So that's a really good point. Um, there's only a couple of cons. One con I would say is that you've you pretty much got to fight for the blocks because they're so competitive. I don't know whether it's just the area that I'm in, in, in delivering out of Bristol, but um, you have to constantly be swiping and swiping and swiping for uh, the blocks for your day. And especially here in Bristol, we only have like one sitting a day for blocks and they start at one o'clock. So, um, you know, if you, you can't, you don't really have another opportunity to have one for that day. So if you don't get one at one for one o'clock, one, one fifteen, 
you know, 130, you haven't got your money for the day. So I suppose, although you're not meant to rely on it as your sole income, you, cut, you couldn't really hear because, you know, if you've lost your 4550 that you're waiting for for the day, then you're stuck sort of thing. And that's why Amazon don't advertise it as a full-time job. It's a side job. So yeah, so you've got to constantly be on the app for like sometimes, the other day I was on it for like over an hour, swiping and swiping. So you've got to think, is it worth it really? If you want to do that every day. However, I'm, I'm doing it for a, a bit of fun as well as the money. So to make sure it doesn't matter. But then on the days you get them very quickly, like today I got one within 20 minutes or 30 minutes. Yesterday I was flicking, I got one within 10 minutes. So once you have your routine and stuff, then it's, you know, fine. And especially now at the moment, while we're in this whole coronavirus thing, you're not doing much anyway. So if I'm sitting watching the TV for a half an hour, an hour, while swiping for blocks, I'm not really losing much of my day, so to speak. I'm trying to think of at least two cons for the Amazon thing, but it's hard, no, really hard, because it's quite good. Um, yeah, I can't think. I will move on to the B, and then if I think of more, I will let you know. So with the B delivery, there is um, quite a few of each, I would say. So. Um, one, pr the first pro I would say is that it's all through the day, so um, contrary to Amazon, you only have, well especially where we are, I can only speak for here, there's only one sitting a day, so you're, you're 1, 115, 130, 145 starts. You can't do more than one block per day because of this. At the moment, Christmas, another story, but currently one block a day. Um, so whereas delivery, delivery, you have it, it comes and goes through the day. So for example, the other day I, when I did the one in Western Supermare, I finished that one and another one popped up. And I suppose on a good day with that, if you did 20 pounds for one, 10 pounds for uh, no, another 20 pounds and a six pound, you've had what, 56 pounds doing four, four shopping trips. So I suppose maybe you can make more money through that if you're work, uh, working over a longer time, um, that sort of thing. Another pro of it though, is that you're paid at the, set, the, the next day. So for example, for the work I did this morning, I'll be paid by five o'clock tomorrow. That's the uh, pay for the trip, as well as the the reimbursement of the food, um, which leads me on to the third pro, uh, which is that you can sometimes uh, work into doing your own shopping. So if you need to get a few bits for the day or something and you're out, you can always do two for two so then you're also being paid sort of to do your own shopping um, going on to the cons uh, one con is that uh, oh that's what I was going to say one the final uh, pro compared to Amazon is that when uh, you do Amazon you've obviously got to swipe for the blocks all day or for you know whatever however many time until you get one whereas with the with the delivery thing it come it beeps to you so you get a notification if there's a job nearby and you could then decide to pick it up or reject it, it's up to you. Which is, which, so you've got less stress of um, flicking for the blocks compared to Amazon. So that's one good, that's another good thing. The cons I would say, there isn't too many, but it is a custom, um, so the star ratings the customer gives you can affect how many blocks you, uh, how many jobs are sent to you. So for example, my rating now is four and a half stars. Uh, it went down to three and a half stars after I did my third delivery, so uh, God knows why that was. I think it was primarily because the customer asked for like 10 of a certain suite and the big supermarket I went to didn't have them, so that was 10 items you didn't get and they starved me down sort of thing, which could you know, affect you getting work for them in the future. So that's something to be mindful of, but I've, I guess that's a 1 in 100 chance that that would happen again. Um, uh, the only yeah, uh, con I would say is with it as well um, is that you've got to not just deliver but you've also got to do the shopping as well so you've got to have your shopping hat on as well thinking about what the customer would want if you needed to make a substitution uh, you've got to sometimes call them you've got to be mindful of sometimes there isn't a good signal so you can't call them I was at a shop the other day and I was trying to call, call, call and it wouldn't connect because the actual customer had poor signal so you've got to think of this sort of thing. But yeah, majority, ma majorly, both 
programs I found are good for me hopefully good for you too um yeah and I suppose also with the delivery thing before I finish is that you're, you're doing less like dead miles that you're not being paid for so for example for me I have to drive 10 miles to the Amazon depot it takes me half an hour fine I don't mind but with the delivery thing sometimes it's cl a lot closer and you're just maybe just going you know four miles to the shop two miles to drop it off and then four miles home so you're doing less miles for your work but then it, it comes and goes you know so yeah, that's my um, pros and cons of both things. I'd really be grateful if you like and subscribe if you like the videos. And please comment if you have any questions for either two programs. And I hope you're all staying safe and well. And I hope that you're getting something out of these videos. So please have a great day and I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Cheers.